All right, guys, uh, here's the deal. Just went through and took apart a set of uh, the RCV axles for the ZR2. Um, I don't know exactly how much they're gonna share in common with the Baja kits length ones, but we won't find out for a little bit. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go through and show you what's involved in changing out the boot uh, as they're shipped. Apparently the boot hits the uh, spring perch on King Shocks, um, the OEM King Shocks and uh, the ZR2 shocks as well. Um, the vehicle that got tested on apparently had a aftermarket diff drop. So if you have the diff drop, then you should be good. If you don't, and you're a normal human being, then uh, they're gonna hit. Anyways, um, RCV has a correct boot and it is shaped different. I'll show you a picture of that. Uh, then also the tools that you're going to need. Um, yeah, it does take a couple specialty tools. Um, for instance, uh, things that are going to make life your life easier is going to be little plastic uh, things for your vise. That way you can put the um, axle in the vise. Uh, it makes it easier sometimes for part of it. Not the whole thing. You're not going to want the axle in the vise the whole time. Can you do it without the vise? Yes, absolutely. Um, makes your life easier in and out. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, next thing you're going to need is uh, those for getting off the original bands. You're also going to need a little tiny screwdriver to get the band, the fact the RCV bands off of. They use a different kind, um, uh, the ones that fold over and then clamp. Um, uh, that is a great set of bands, um, hard to come by uh, unless you're going to the hard uh, to the other parts store. A lot of times in another parts store, you're gonna get these ones, which are like the factory GM ones. That's what I use. Uh, these are stainless steel. Um, those require a specialty tool. It looks like this. Uh, I can get you all the information on that. Uh, you message me. Um, and then also for getting the little um, retaining ring, something like this that doesn't mar. Uh, don't use a pick. Uh, if you're really good, you can use a pick. I'm not. I need something that doesn't mar. Um, you're gonna need a lot of crap. This stuff, uh, this is not cheap. Um, we went through a bottle of this. So um, to do to do the two boots, um, we actually had to do one of the boots twice. Um, and then we did the outer CV, but that's for a whole different reason, which is the whole point of this video. Um, I'm gonna have some photos of the difference between the old boot and the new boot. It's probably gonna be here, here, here. Um, and then I'm going to show you uh, some pictures of, um, or some bits of video and pictures of how to get uh, the old boot off, the new boot on. Um, oh, you're also gonna need a pair of snap ring pliers. Um, you're gonna need to get the snap ring off of it. Uh, and yeah, anyway, so anyways, let's go back to it and maybe I can throw in some pictures as I'm talking um, in editing, which I suck at. But, um, you know, take the um, boot clamps off, like that, or an inner off, and then you're going to then pull out some, get rid of some of the grease. The grease is brand new, try to save it, it's expensive. It's like 50 bucks for the, for the little bucket that you saw over there. Um, and then get the retaining ring out. Uh, that's going to be where you're using this little tool um, or something like that. Once that retaining ring is out, you're going to pull the outer CV cup off of the race and cage. Um, then you're going to clean off the grease around the race and cage top, and you're going to need your snap ring pliers. Take the snap ring off, and then that race and cage is going to slide off like butter. If you remember, the, or if you've ever done a factory CV, they, I mean, you were going to be pounding, you'd pound pound the old one with a brass hammer till you're blue in the face. Um, but these RCV ones come off really nice, like butter. So slide that off. Make sure you remember the orientation. Um, slide the old boot off, slide the new boot on, put the race and cage back on as you, as you did, uh, as you took it off, same direction, snap ring plier, um, do up the small boot clamp, one of these guys, um, one of these guys. You're going to see a little indent on the RCV shaft. Um, good luck.
uh, you know, you can put it there, but it's going to slide back and forth. Just get as tight as you can. Um, then, uh, let's see what's next. You're going to put the, um, bearing, well, you're going to put the shaft with the bearing and the race back into the outer cup and you're going to put the, um, retaining ring back in and then clamp the, uh, larger size of the boot to the CV cup, clean everything up, Bob's your uncle. Um, oh yeah, make sure you put, uh, all the grease you took out back in. Um, RCV doesn't use a whole lot of grease. You'll see, especially compared to if you ever took the zero two axle apart um, in comparison to what RCV uses, but they use a lot nicer grease. Um, now, one of the things we did find that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay, so on this set of axles, we found that the outer race was put in correctly but the cage was backwards cage was backwards yeah the cage was backwards on one of them so uh we noticed that they were assembled differently from the manufacturer so we had to pull one of the boots off again reassemble uh, take it apart so in order to do that after you take the and i'm gonna show you which direction is correct so this is going to be the incorrect way and then now I'm gonna show you the correct way. So if yours comes out looking like the correct way, just leave it or put it back that way. If it comes out the incorrect way, or if you when you take your boot apart and you see from, from the factory it is assembled this way, you're gonna to have to take it apart. So take when you take the uh, snap ring off, then you're going to um, have to pull the bearings out of the cage now those bearings are in there like i mean they're in there so clean off as much of the grease as you can so it doesn't have a suction um, talk to the guys at rcv they said use a screwdriver pry it out that goes against everything that i i mean anyways so we tried everything everything was plastic anything that was soft-sided uh, we ended up getting them uh, pried out with this guy again. It's got some Teflon on there to help stop it from marring. Um, I checked the bearings. It didn't look like it marred anything, but the bearings were marred from the factory because the, the race was in there backwards. Um, pop those bearings out. Uh, leave one in. Helps you spin the, the um, race around 180 degrees in the cage. Um, you're going to notice that the race is only, um, uh, gosh, what's it called? Uh, splined up to a certain point and then there's going to be a gap. That's just so the, the race can, or, uh, can sit on the splines of the shaft and then the race kind of sits over the unsplined, right? So that unsplined section sits down. So, um, you're basically really spinning the cage, but you're going to do it with the race. And then once that's spun and you still have that one bearing in there helps keep everything aligned trust me just keep that one bearing in there um, then you're gonna have to put the bearings that you took out back in and they are not going to slide back in you can clean off as much grease as you want or leave as much grease as you want in there they will not just pop in so all right non-marring brass hammer really nice light tap it'll just tap right in um, go in a star pattern. Um, but yeah, it sucks. These, it shouldn't be this way, but it is. Um, you can do it. Uh, you know, we were in it a couple hours, but we were going back and forth with RCV and, uh, and discovering it going, Hey, why do these look different? Which way is correct? Is it's holiday weekend? Is anybody going to answer their phones? Huge props. Thank you so much, Josh at, at RCV. You're the man. I mean, it's Friday, holiday weekend, day after Thanksgiving. You, man, there was no no hesitation, no delay in getting a hold of you. Huge props. Thank you very much. I, I really 100% uh, appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, so once you get that, um, put it back together as, as you normally would. And then uh, we checked the outer CVs as well. The really nice, nice, nice ones that, that our CV makes. Um, took it apart, took pictures of it, sent it to Josh, said that those were assembled correctly. Um, hopefully there's not any issues with that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go edit this, put up some pictures. Hopefully it all makes sense and uh, 
reach out to me if you have any questions. Bye.